what's up guys it's time to make a conclusion on the PFR uh, we've analyzed essentially just the change on volume which is this guy here epsilon and y a zero this is a constant so the actual thing that changes is this one with respect of reactions so why does or where do we get this part is essentially when we have this volumetric flow rate and we have a correction factor here and since conversion is let's say a value that we are analyzing the only thing that will change is this epsilon here so let me make a small conclusion on the gas phase reactor for negative changes in volume you need less volume in general for the same conversion so that's good you want to find these type of reactions uh, if it's possible for example you have either A way and B way and you know that the volume or the size is a factor to determine the price of the product or process well you should go for the one that goes and has less moles now if you are producing moles which means you're increasing so you have one mole let's say A and it turns out to be 3B you will need to invest in a larger or bigger reactor it's bigger uh, here and Whereas if you have this reaction, A equals B, you will need a small one. And not only that, guys, if you have it to the first order, it's, a, it's not that huge increase. But if you have to the second order, you will have maybe to invest in a huge one. So you will need also to analyze if it's first or second order. And yeah, I told you before because it's the exponent square. Let me show you that. For higher conversion, the volume repair goes exponential. Let's say this is first, this is my first reaction. No, my first order and this is second order. So look, same material, same epsilon, but you will need to increase way more volume. Uh, let me tell you why. The change in volume here, so this guy right here, is punished in a factor of let's say one. Here. Now let's check out actually this is not this is not punishment you have negative so the volume will decrease but let's say the second order will be not only here you have it here so this increases you have it here and this also increases you have it here and not only to the first power but to the second power that increases and once again you have it here and that increases so everywhere you are increasing, 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 increasing. So if epsilon goes equals 1, you're going to have a huge punishment on that change. Whereas in the first order, you only have got it here, because this is actually good for you, this is negative. So maybe they can counterbalance, etc. But here you have every concept going, or every term is uh, adding or getting extra uh, positive numbers. And positive numbers means your volume is going to increase. So essentially is what I wanted to show you guys. The PFR is not that complex to model. We've seen a lot in the chapter 2. But if you want to see some exercise like this, the example, four, uh, example number 3 in chapter 4, which talks about the production of this uh, ethylene in a plug flow reactor, or you need more problems, I recommend you going to this site, check the courses, go to reactor engineering, the solved problems section, I have many solved problems, actually this chapter has 33 problems, and yeah, just go check them, and I'm sure you will get the best of the course. So that was everything for this section, PFRs are not that complex, uh, we will analyze section number 5, which is packed bed reactors in isothermal design, with finally a pressure drop. So this is our first reactor with pressure drop. So see you in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, 
colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.